Malita na po na maibababa sa 20 pesos ang kada kilo ng uh, bigas. That's the aspiration. Mm -hmm. Paano that's, po natin yung gagawin? Ibubuhin natin yung value chain na pinag-uusapan ko sa ano. Kausap ko na yung mga ibang trader. Baka pwede natin i-hold ng ilang buwan yung presyo ngayon. Uh, uh, we're, we, I think we'll be able to do it uh, for, as a first step. But in the long term, we really have to fix our value chain. That's the only way. Ngayon, ang nagiging problema... So one of the problems that, are, that, that is popping up in agriculture, yung edad ng ating mga magsasaka. Uh, I'm sure you've all seen the statistics, it's 56, 57, whatever. But that's not the good number, that's too high a number. And unfortunately, ang mga farmer mismo nagsasabi sa kanilang mga anak, wag kang mag-farm yung hirap ng buhay na ito. Mag-aral na lang kayo, mag-trabaho kayo sa opisina. Kaya kami naghihirap dito para hindi nyo na kailangan gawin ito. And that's why young people are not coming into, into agriculture. Now, how do we change that? Uh, we must employ new technologies. Uh, it has to be industrial farming. It has to be, we have to andami naman bang with, especially with the advent of uh, global warming. Nakita niyo ba itong taon na ito? Naintindihan niyo ba yung weather? <laughs> Kung kailan yung, uh, yung tag-araw, kailan yung tag-ulan? Sinasabi ng pag-asa sa atin, tag-araw ngayon, pero panay naman ang ulan. Sinasabi nila, tag-ulan na, hindi naman umuulan. <laughs> so, talagang mag masyado na magulo. That's why we need high-tech solutions. And that will bring younger people in. Uh, because we're not talking anymore about traditional farming only. Of course, you will still have to put seeds into the ground. You know? But marami ng bagong technologies that are developed by younger people. And so they can get involved in, in agriculture again. Uh, like I said, COVID changed everything. We cannot depend on the old system. Uh, we cannot depend on what we... As, on business as usual. That would be a disaster. If you, if, if, the pre-pandemic world is never coming back. That is a, a hard truth that we all have to, to accept. Uh, and the, what's coming is something that we are not, we don't quite know yet. But it's beginning to show what, what, what that will be. So in, in terms of agriculture, we have to move with the times. And we have to be very... Uh, uh, open to new new strategies, new technologies, new techniques, um, not only in the actual technical uh, part of, of, of agriculture, but also in the organization of our agricultural community and our, our agricultural sector. Uh, so, yeah, that's, uh, that's something that we have to deal with. So if we, the aspiration is 20 pesos, it, I don't know. We, I, I think it. Uh, we, if we work very hard at it, uh, it, it, it Oh boy! Hapag na buo yung, pag na buo yung ating pinatawo na value chain. We have to do research and development. Para wala naman tayong magaling. Eh. We have to do research and development. Find the new varieties. Find the new techniques. With the price of fertilizer getting so high, ano mga alternatives natin? Organic, etc. Uh, and how do we, how do we uh, mass produce that uh, in the long, in the dozen of, and then the, we have to bring all these new uh, technologies to the farmer and we have to teach them what is new, how to best, uh, how to best take advantage of uh, all of the things that we have discovered. We have to find new ways of, 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 uh, produce, of production. And I would, you know, agriculture, no, pinag-uusapan, hindi lang bigas yan eh. Hindi lang crops yan, eh. fisheries yan, at saka livestock. So lahat yan, kailangan natin natingnan. And it, with, with in mind, you should always keep in mind, there must be sufficient food supply. Kailangan may sapat na bigas, kailangan kasi yan ang ating, ano, uh, meron. We have to also look at protein. Siyempre, livestock, fisheries, hindi lang naman iisa yan. So, uh, that, that has to be developed. Now, the, the good thing about that is that 
for the Philippines, we don't have to reinvent the wheel. Marami naman tayong pupuntahan na magpaturo tayo. Uh, ang masakit lang dyan is these are the people that studied in your PLB. <laughs> Now, ngayon pupunta natin, ano po pa, paano ba yung pinakabago, pinakamag pinakamaganda? Ayan yung mga nasa iri noon, nasa field rice, uh, bumalik na, umuwi na, and they're, they're making a success of agriculture. But, you know, whatever it takes, we will do it.